Let's go to our not sermon, our lesson today. Our lesson today with the title that I choose is Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Students. Students. Who do you think you are, Sarod? Uh, teacher. So is teacher. Who do you, who do you think you are, Miss Allen? You are a teacher also. Who do you think you are, the Tribun? Ah, he is the son of God. That's the correct answer. We are the sons and daughters of of God. Okay. Bible first. Our theme first this morning is found in. 1 Peter 2, verse 9. Oh, we are waiting for the slide. Because it's stuck, I Darren, can you take this? Record, record this. Okay. Okay, let's say... Oh. Something wrong with that. Like, yeah, okay. Our okay, theme verse is found in 1 Peter 2, verse 9. Can you please repeat after me? Repeat after me, yeah? But you are a chosen people. But you are a chosen, chosen people. A royal priesthood. A royal priesthood. A holy nation. A holy nation. A people belonging to God. A people belonging to God. That you may declare. That you may declare. The praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Okay, again. But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people belonging to God, that you may declare. The praises of Him who called you out of darkness into His wonderful light. First Peter two verse nine. First Peter two verse nine. Okay. Thank you. This is actually a verse for the Israelites, for the Jewish nation, but now it applies for us. We are the chosen people. A holy nation, a people belonging to God. So that's the correct answer that we are the sons and daughters of, of God. Okay, next. Do you know who he is? Who he is? Do you know who he is? Tarzan. Do you know the story of Tarzan? This is actually a novel written by Mr. Edgar Rice Rose. This is the story about a man who was born in the jungle. So his mother, his parents, his mother and father are missionaries. So they have to they have to went to the jungle of Africa to teach about the good news of Jesus Christ. But something really bad happened that his mother, Carson's mother, is died because of uh, an illness and and one day a very large group of apes came and attacked their, their hood, just a small hood, a small hut inside the jungle. But miraculously, and we don't know if lucky or miracle, this is just a story, right? Not really happened. The boy was saved by a female ape. A female ape that her, her baby was stillborn, died. And then he took this baby, this Tarzan, and raised him as her own child. Okay, so what do you think if you were raised inside the jungle with the ape? You will behave like a human or like a like an ape? Like an ape. Right? Because the mother, the female ape, teach him how to behave like ape. Right? Okay. Next story. This story 
want to bring us into our mind about what about our uh, topic this morning. Okay, next. Okay, this is a story about a girl, Oksana Malaya. At the age of three, her alcoholic parents left her and neglected her outside one night and then she crawled into a hovel where the family kept the dogs. So between the age three until eight, how many years is that? Three, four, five, six, seven. About three or four years, Oksana lived with the dogs. And in 1991, she was found in Ukraine barking and crawling and on full force. She walked with her hands and her, legs. her feet. So she was barking and crawling like a dog. But she is a human, not a dog, right? And the government took her and put her in orphanage school and she was taught to walk upright, to eat with her hands and to acquire language. At age 23, she is able to speak, but there is no rhythm, no inflection to her speech. She can count but cannot do addition or subtraction. Right, great one today, they already know how to subtract. Five minus three or addition, five plus three. Yeah, you know already, right? But this girl, because she was raised with the dog, she don't know that she is actually a human. She thinks that she is a dog because she was raised with the dog. The same like Tarzan, she was raised with a name. Okay, now, the same like us. Why we don't know why, that we are actually the son and daughters of God? Why? Because identity theft. Somebody took our identity, our real identity. Who do you think he is? Who do you think who stole our identity? He said, no, you are a sinner. You are a bad girl. You are a bad boy. You are not the son and daughters of God. You cannot capable of doing good. Right? Great five boys. Who he is? Satan. He is the ultimate, ultimate He took our real identity and he told us that we are sinners, we cannot do anything good. Ismailites, the Indianites, and sold him to Egypt, become what? 
Become what? Slave. Become a slave. When you face great difficulties, do you think he forgot who he is? No. He forgot who he is? No. He still knows that he is the son of the son of God. Okay. When he was in Egypt, God blessed him. And everything that he did, he did great. Excellent. Without his father supporting him as Okay, Joseph, do this. Do this good, yeah? For students grade 1 to grade 9, we have the little thing, right, every day. Have you read your Bible? Your mom will ask me. Oh, I'm not yet, mom. Oh, I'm not sign for you. Have you read your book? Have you read your lesson? But Joseph, nobody controlled him and told him what to do. But he done the best because he still knows that he is the son of God. Okay? Even when he faced great difficulties, Joseph never forget who he is. Next one. Even when his brothers came, he forget he forget all the bad things that they done, they have done to him. And he forgave him. He forgave his brothers. Right? Okay. Okay. Next. Do you know what is this? Fingerprint. Can everyone of you see your <coughs> own fingers? Uh, there's a pattern in it. That we call a finger. Finger. Fingerprint. Okay. A fingerprint is the impression of the friction on the finger of a human. And this fingerprint is formed when we are still in our mother's womb. We are still in our mother's womb. God created this. And every human has different, different types of fingerprints. No other human has the same. It's very amazing, right? Yes. Even if you are twin brothers or twin sisters, your fingerprints will be different. much different. Nobody in this world has the same fingerprints. That's how Jesus made us. Okay, next. Do you know who are they? Yeah. Do you know who are they? Yes. In they are the British monarch, the Queen Elizabeth and her husband and the future kings. There are two future kings, right? Prince Charles and Prince William. They are the future, they are the, the ear of the kingdom of Britain. Because we are the son and daughters of God, we are also who is God? God is king of king of kings. King of kings. Okay, repeat after them again. God is king of kings. God is king of kings. So God is more than Queen Elizabeth. He's more than the future kings in this world. We are the son and daughters of king of kings. Okay? Now, let's say it together. I am the son. I am the son. And daughter. And daughter. Of king of kings. Of King of Kings. I am the daughter of King of Kings. Wow. Okay, now, how do we act like royalty? We are all royalty, right? How do we act like royalty? I'm special. You're special. Oh, that's correct, Santa. Very good. You're special. How do we act like royalty? First, we look like royalty. We stand, we sit, we walk, we dress like royalty. Do you think royalty will will wear a uniform that still still dirty at school? No. No. With the shoes, very dirty shoes and untied shoelaces. Shoelaces. Grade three. No. 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 Okay. Second, speak like royalty. No harsh, no bad words come out from your. 
your mind. Speak slowly with proper voice level. No shouting and screaming. Ah! No. Keep it low. Yeah? Okay. Number three. Behaving like royalty. Proper manners. What proper manners? Proper manners? Polite. Conscious and kind. <coughs> but with, with high confidence. I am confident but I am kind. Okay? Not confident but I am so arrogant. Huh? I don't think you are just like me. I am the most handsome or I am the most beautiful girl in this school. You are not this. Oh no. We have to be kind but with high confidence but humble. Okay? Be humble and kind. Be gentle. Don't rush. Okay. The last story. Last story. Ah, this is an eagle. An eagle in a chicken coop. What do you think it will behave? Like an eagle or like a like a like a kitchen? Uh, like kitchen chicken. 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 Like an eagle or like a chicken? Chicken. A chicken. Because he was raised in a in a chicken coop. Right? Right? Okay. So one day, you know this is the uh, the wall eagle. This is the symbol of America. An, Vertical, right? Vertical. Parabola. Vertical. Okay. One day, a scientist came and found out that there is a bald eagle inside the chicken coop of a, of a farmer. And he said to the farmer, Sir, can I take this eagle and I will teach him to fly, to fly like, like a real eagle? Because he's not a chicken, he's an eagle. Okay, the farmer said, Okay. Just take it. Take it. And then he signed this took the eagle and he climbed a tree, a tall tree. And then he said like this, you are not a chicken, you are an eagle. Fly! But what happened? This eagle never learned how to fly. What happened? He, he tried to collect his feet. Ah, no, no, oh, ah, but he fell. Oh, no. He signed this. Oh, maybe. The tree is not tall enough. So the scientist took the eagle and then he goes to a hill. A hill is smaller than the tree, right? Yeah, yeah a hill. Okay. And then he said like this, Eagle, you are not a chicken. You are an eagle. You are destined. You are born to fly up high in the sky. And then he tried, he threw the eagle. What happened to the eagle? He tried to open his wings and clap and clap. But because he never experienced, he never learned, he fell again. Okay, the scientist said, What can I do to teach this eagle to, to fly high up the sky? And then this scientist bring the eagle. He drove maybe how many kilometers away to a mountain where the habitat of an eagle. In a distant, there's a distant voice, a voice of an eagle that flies so high up in the sky. And the scientist said, yes. You are an eagle. You are okay. an eagle. You are destined to do great. You are destined to fly up in the sky. You are not a chicken. And then the scientist climbed, climbed more high up on the rock. Hello? Nela, after this, I will give a question and give you something. If you are talking with your friends, you will not know what is the answer. Okay? Thank you. And what happened? When the scientist drew the eagle high up from the mountain, very poor mountain, rock mountains, and at first, he just opened his wings. He tried to clap. And the eagle can fly. Yeah. And he knows that he is an eagle, not a chicken. So the same as we, we are not a chicken. Just human. What's that? Oh, yeah. We are not a, what? 
chicken. You're not a cat. Okay, you're not a cat. We are the son and daughters of oh, chicken. We are royalty. We are like an eagle. God told us that we are destined to fly and do great things in this world and someday we will inherit the kingdom of Oh God, we will wear a crown, Zeta. We will wear a crown, a gold crown with wow, very beautiful crown. Okay, okay. Now let's repeat again our theme verse. But you are a chosen people. You are a chosen, chosen people. A royal priesthood. A royal priesthood. A holy nation. A holy nation. A people belong to God. People belonging to God. That you may declare the praises of Him. That you may declare the praises of Him. He called you out of darkness. And put you out of the darkness. Into His wonderful light. Into His wonderful light. So from now on, let's behave. Let's talk like a son and daughter of God. Okay, question number one. Question number one. Our theme first is found in what book? Only the book? Okay, Elizabeth. First Peter. Okay, very good. Come here and take your place. First Peter 2, verse 9. Okay, what color do you like? Pink? Only one. Purple. Okay, thank you, Elizabeth. Okay, okay next. This question is for grade one and grade two. Are you ready, grade one and two? Yeah. Who is the ultimate team? Who is the ultimate team who stole our real identity? Yeah. Okay, so Say it, but it is fine. Come here, take a pass. Raise your hand. What color? Okay, you can get the plastic. Okay, two more, yeah? Take one question. Can you tell me, Joseph is the son of Jacob, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, he is the son number... Number what? 10, 11, or 12? Number one. Yeah. Number... Number 12? 11. Ah, 11. Come here. Chacha. Berlin. Can you tell me, this is for grade 7, 8, 9, ya? Yeah? <laughs> oh, sorry. From 4 to 9. Okay, there are three ways how to act like royalty. Can you please mention three ways how to act like royalty? Come on, come on, come on. Raise your hand and come here. Those who are the answer, you cannot answer again. Yeah? How to act like royalty? There are three. Come on. One. Two. Just go. Come here. How to act like royalty? Come on. Just go. Come here. Say it. Yeah, say it. That's At least you're right, right? <laughs> yeah. How to act like royalty? Behave. Good. Two months.
walk. Walk already. Look like a royalty stand. Sleep, walk, dress, like right? walk. Okay. 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 That's all for from me. Thank you very much. May God bless you all. Don't forget, we are not a chicken. We are. We are the sons and daughters of.